Right, we're on. During lock time, there's things we can do to enhance our Eureka golf swing. Today, we're going to do a little video just to let you see that even though we can't go out and hit some golf balls, we can still be productive in what we're trying to do. We're trying to create the motion, trying to get the feelings of all those videos that we've watched, trying to really capture that slow motion feeling or sensation that Eureka golf swing provides. So referring to the videos that we've already seen, I just checked feet alignment, obviously not hitting any golf balls here. Checking feet alignment and club face alignment. Club face alignment in relation to the top cane, which we know from the videos that we've subscribed to, what's supposed to happen there. Also checking my weight distribution and my head and my centeredness of my body in relation to the tips of the canes. Remember we want to have a certain amount of weight forward, we don't want any back, so we're 60 forward all the way to the top. Adhering to that, ensuring club face is square to that cane or lined up correctly in relation to the top cane. It's all in the Iron Swing series on their website. And now when I do this, I do it in slow motion. I want to feel as though I maintain that weight. So that pressure, a little bit more pressure on the left side, I'm maintaining to the top of my swing. I'm ensuring that the club head is tracing the relevant cane. To the top, shoulders are aligned with middle cane. Ensuring that gets the top tracing the correct cane and then when I get to the top of my swing, which will be reduced when you're not hitting golf balls, I'm still centred over the tips of those canes. My body relationship, my pressure on the left side, everything's related to the centre of the canes. Then from there, I want to see what happens on the way down. I want to ensure that this left knee externally rotates. Top of the swing, left knee externally rotates, which keeps the hands behind the body. If that didn't externally rotate and the hands came first, of course I'm going to dissect this line. So I get to the top and I want to ensure the left knee does its thing to get back down to impact. Left knee does its thing. I know what I'm doing in relation to the tips of the canes. As I mentioned, it's all in the video series, the Iron Swing series on the website, eurekagolfswing.com. Turning through, feeling that left knee doing its thing, and then from there, I can see club head blur. I can see the blur of the club head that we've mentioned in the videos to ensure that I've got that in-to-out path and I'm sustaining the line of compression, club base squarer to target for longer, not flipping over, not cutting across, I'm ensuring the left knee extended rotates and my weight distribution is centred or relative to the centre of the canes like discussed in the tutorials there, the more weight goes left as the left knee extended rotates and then from there the left wrist nice and flat, sustaining that compression. Face on view, feet are in line with the correct cane, shoulders in line with the correct cane, club face 90 degrees to the correct cane up to the top, tracing the correct cane with the club head, boom, to there, I've still maintained that 60-40 percentage of weight in relation to tips of canes, I'm centred over them, then from there as I mentioned, left knee does its thing, weight transfer does its thing, and I can see the club head blur, now an in to out path, left wrist is flat to impact, continuing the face square towards target, sustaining that line of compression. All these little slow motion drills will enhance your Eureka golf swing. And it's things we can do at this time. And it's things we can do at this time without hitting golf balls to be productive in our Eureka swing practice. Left knee, weight, I'm aware of where my weight is, or I'm aware of where my head is in relation to tips of canes. I'm now aware that because my weight's done its thing and my left knee's done its thing, that I've got forward shaft lean, the shaft's leaning forward towards the camera, the handle of the club's leaning forward, therefore I'm getting ball turf strike. I'm also sustaining line of compression. For longer, because I've understood how the body works, it's opened up. Top of the swing, what happened to the chest? The chest opens up to the feet line, back of the left hand, the base target line. Chest opens up to the feet line, back of the left hand, the base target line. Lots of drills at that to feel. Just trying to feel that motion. Doing the whole swing in slow motion, which is not easy to do. To feel where you're getting to, feel how the weight's working. I can feel if I'm off, I can feel if I'm on. Then from there I can really feel the transition. The left knee, I can feel the hands stay behind the body. Body opens up to feet line. Back of left hand, the base target line, therefore the club face the base target line, or the base of path for longer, the sustained line of compression, follow through. If you've got a net in the garden, I suggest you give that a go. 
play it in slow motion and you can watch it back you can see what the club head does you can see where the left arm is in relation to shoulders everything that's mentioned in the EurekaGolfSwing.com video series iron swing series driver swing series and ball position and shot shaping series there is going to be coming very soon there's going to be an online video voiceover analysis so you can send me Eureka Golf Swing and I will analyse your video or your swing I'll do a voiceover draw a few lines on and I'll send it back to you that's coming soon for just now though stay safe as you can and thanks very much for signing up for EurekaGolfSwing.com